Hi guys, CCG Collector here. Middle Earth Lidless Eye booster packs all over there. And just waiting to be open, so let's let's oblige them. Wait a second. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's the sixth one off in the corner. Alright. So I bought this booster box because I wanted to get some particular rare cards that are either hard to find, you know, there are people that aren't selling them anywhere, or just very, very expensive. And so far, you know, that's the only reason I ever do booster breaks like this, because I need the cards. So far, it hasn't been uh, fantastic results. Now, I've gotten a lot of cool cards. I've gotten a lot of great cards, cards I'm very happy to have. Absolutely no issue there. It just not getting the cards I'm looking for. And, you know, it's a big set. It's 400 card set. There are something like 120 rares in there. So, yeah. You go through an entire booster box assuming no duplicates. You still only hit a fourth of the rares. But, you know, it, it's a nice thought that we get what we want. So, Kirithungal. Nurniag Camp. So maybe that'll change uh, today, right? Catch an Elusive Scent. Well, let's, let's read these. Oh, well, I didn't read these because there wasn't much to them. All right. Uh, scout only. Playable during the site phase on an untapped scout. Tap them and then... Wow. Play any minor, major, or gold ring item normally playable at the site. It does not tap the site, and it can be played at a site that is already tapped. Wow, that's cool. Druid in Forest. Okay. Hendolin. Who is this fellow? May tap to cancel a detainment attack against its company and better at influencing elves. Okay. Trifling Ring. Excellent artwork there. Very nice. Lost in Borderlands. That's a common I haven't seen yet. Nice. Crooked Promptings. Direwolves. Hidden Waves. Rebel Talk. Oh, same artist. Two cards in a row. Similar, uh, similar scenes. Blazing of the Eye. Doors of Night. Some of my favorite artwork in the game. If you guys get a chance, look that up. Doors of Night by John Howe. I'm pretty sure is the name of the piece. And yeah, it is breathtaking. Old Cash and True Fire Drake. Alrighty, up next, patch number two. Eridan, Eridan, Stone Circle, Covetous Thoughts. I don't know, I just think this picture looks kind of silly. Uh, she loves Lair and Two-Headed Troll, whatever, why ever that's in quotes, let's find out. Okay, it doesn't really say. But, okay, cool, that's a rare. Foolish Words, there is, I assume, f no, it's not Farmer Maggot, might be Farmer Maggot, might be the Gaffer, Sam Gamgee's dad. Either way, he's sending that Black Rider on his way. Orc Watch, Bade to Rule, very cool looking card there. Ambusher, Karn Doom, I like that. I'll report you. So this is a rare in the Wizards, but of course, as a minion player, it is a Dark Haven, so it's not going to be a rare. Blow Turned, Arouse Denizens, in this case, Bears, and the Fell Winter. All right, let's keep going. Whip. Kirith Gorgor, Troll Chief. I don't know about Omar Ryan, man. Rayan. Rayan? Omar Rayan. His art is just strange, but good enough, I guess. Magic Ring of Enigma. And News of the Shire. So what's this all about? Playable during the site phase on untapped character at Bag End. Tap the character, and then he... Oh, that's cool. Okay, so this is something I like. Uh, the um, the Wizards did a little bit uh, with this, uh, with cards like Dreams of Lore and Rescue Prisoners, but it seems like the Lidless Eye has a lot of cards that let you get marshalling points in, by kind of carrying out tasks of some sort. So basically this one says... Uh, Tap the character at bag end, you play this, goes, go bring him back to Baradur, which is, I believe, a Dark Haven, and store this here, and you get three marshalling points. 
If you find more news after that, they're each worth one marshalling point. And if stored, the Shire becomes a borderland and Bag End becomes a border hold. So it basically changes the kind of creatures that can be played there, which is really neat. And then we've got our, ooh, we've got our commons. That's an interesting. I like that. I like. I mean, it's it's a strange shot because you can't really see much that's going on, but I guess you see all that you need to. And I really like the perspective on it. Now, this is something. There's another game that I have a lot of on this channel. Um, open a lot of boosters called Wyvern, and all of that art is done by one person, and he has a very distinctive style. And while his art is, you know, it's decent, he has no concept of, uh, I, I don't know if perspective is the right word, I'm not an artist myself, but basically every uh, art, every dragon, every person, whatever, is a, a sort of a profile view, or you see it, there's no, there's no depth to it, there's no different angles, it's okay, you know, it's how the average person would draw something. But this, this top-down shot, I mean, that's just really cool. That's talent right there. The names among them. Playable on an untapped scout. Tap the scout. No marshaling points are received after facing an automatic attack. Well, that's interesting. So this, it looks like it's kind of saying that, okay, the scout's just been to a place, he defeated an attack there, and then he comes back and is like, hey, hey, I know what's going on there. I know who's holding this site, or I know the kind of people that are around there. So you get a point for that, and you can discard it to cancel an automatic attack later on. <laughs> that's, that's so cool. I like that. That, that goes kind of with that, that News of the Shire and all that, the, the, the little, little quests that you do with these. Now what that does mean... And I found this out when playing a game with my friend, Ring Wraith versus Ring Wraith. For the first time we had ever played uh, minion decks. What that does mean is that minion decks do not have the marshalling point uh, amounts that uh, hero decks do. And they take a lot longer to get going. And uh, sure, part of it was that we needed to consult the rules because we had never played that. And there are a lot of rules that are different four ring rays but we played one game against each other four and a half hours later it concluded we did not have the minimum marshalling points to call the audience with sauron but we had both been through our decks so the game was over four and a half hours so i don't know maybe we're playing it wrong but uh we're, we're okay uh, let's go through these these are all um uncommons here address okay the white towers all right, Barrow White, Kyriaher, Kyriaher, Syriaher. The point is, he can use Shadow Magic. <gasps> Akora Hill Unleashed, heck yeah. So this is one of those cards that I needed for uh, my challenge decks that I'm, that I'm building. And let me just verify this. Yeah, this card would have cost me $12, maybe 12 euros, I don't know if I had to buy it as a single. So the fact that I don't, it's pretty excellent. Uh, you may take a magic card from your play deck or discard pile to your hand, reshuffle the play deck if searched. Okay, very, very cool. All right, so hey, buying this booster box is now worth it. Maybe not quite from a monetary perspective, maybe it is, but hey, I got a card I wanted, that's great. That's why I do this, you know, that's why I open these booster packs. To get cards so I don't need to, you know, it, it's it's almost like doing it, I, I you know, I haven't really thought about it this way, but it's almost like doing it the right way, you know? Back when we were kids and we'd play these games, or maybe even more recently than that, oh, you know, we'd go and the way we'd get our decks, the way we'd build our decks was we would go to a card shop or our card stand or wherever, you know, we'd buy the packs, we'd open the packs, and we'd get cards that we had never seen before. And our buddies, our friends would come with us and they'd get packs and they'd get different cards that they had never seen before. And then you trade them back and forth and you make unique decks. And when you need a card, you go and you buy those packs and you open and open and open and you hope for it and you hope for it. And then sometimes you just get the cards you need. And it is such a good feeling. Well, okay, you know, 
uh, to be a bit of a downer here. I mean, that's what gambling is, and that's why people like it. Failure, failure, failure. Endorphin, yes, all right, fantastic. Failure, 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 you know, so, I'm, <laughs> yes, I'm cranking the slot machine arm, but, boy, when you get jackpot, 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 you know, cherry, 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 or whatever it is, probably one of that, bells, the bars. The point is, I got a card I wanted, and this is just, this is why we do it. This is a lot of fun. Rouse Denison's The Border Watch, Trifling Ring, Lost in Borderlands, War Warg, Lure of Nature, Weigh All Things to Nicety. Another card that I needed. Uh, I think I might have all I need now, but the fact is it's a common, but it's a common that only exists, exists in this set while and in challenge decks, and it's a very popular one. Bring a resource, a character from your sideboard or discard pile into your play deck and shuffle. I mean, that's great. So everyone wants it, so they're very hard to find despite being a common. And uh, someone that I tried to buy from online and wanted to charge me, let's see... Two and a half bucks per card, even though it's a common, which I understand. I'm not holding it against him. It's just nice that I don't have to pay that, you know? All right. So this is this is great. Let's let's see what other rares we can pull that uh, that are either really valuable or just really needed. Plague of Whites. Oh, that's so neat. That's that's wait a second. So the the quote here is from Lord of the Rings One from the uh, Fellowship of the Ring, the first book. But the scene here is when the army of the dead that Aragorn grabs from the past of the dead uh, goes and takes over the Corsair's ships. So anyway, that's just cool. Dunish clan hold. All right. I see the Dunish are just Scottish with their plaid. Shut your mouth. Global Merland, and the Reviled Ring. So what's this guy? Special item. Spirit Ring weapon. Minus two to Bear's Mind. Oh, but that's a good thing, because it means that they require less influence to control. As you can kind of see, he's under the influence of that ring. That's that's a cool artwork there. And plus three to Bear's Prowess. No wonder that's rare. Three marshalling points. Easier to control. Means you can have more characters at once. Adds to Prowess. Uh, has two corruption points, but oh, that's really cool. Strange rations. First time I've pulled this out of the booster box. Discard to untap bearer or play an additional region card. Quentin Hoover did the art for both of these. As I've said many times, very distinctive style. Awakened Defenders, a nice place to hide. Now, Stephen Graham Wall, she's one that's, that's growing on me. I'd never heard of him until playing this game and looking at these cards, but uh, he also did, Rob Alexander, everyone knows him, uh, one of these cards he did. Yeah, Dunish Clan Hold. So, I like his style. Where are we? We're Tracker Foolish Words, Tidings of Bold Spies. Uh, so that is an interesting take on Sam, but okay. Now, basically the tidings are that you know, suddenly there are these two great elf warriors going through uh, paths of Kirith Ungol or whatever it is, killing orcs and stabbing spiders, and just a little dude with some elf weapons and elf lights. Elf light. What does it do? It creates one or more attacks on the company, which duplicates all the automatic, automatic attacks. Oh, that's cool. The Minas Morgul. Any gold ring stored here is automatically tested, but you might modify the roll by minus two. Any attack against a minion company at the site is canceled. All right, so we we kind of yeah we had a ton of fun when we pulled the Court Hill Unleashed, but we are on our last pack now. Let's see what we can get. Uncommons are starting to become more common. Ooh, that's one I haven't seen though. Ost in Edel at Hill. Sorry. There we go. Love this artwork. Liz Danforth, another another great artist. Um, well, of course, I mean, that they're in the lidless side. They're great artists. Uh, what can you do? Miner and Gold Ring, Wolves, Belagorn, Shadow Cloak. <gasps> oh, baby. So, uh, okay, I'll... <laughs> yes. So I will, um, I'll go through these. That's just, okay, a lot of attacks there, but you can play some stuff. Wolves, but you can play some stuff. A fellow that can use spirit magic. 
Shadow Cloak. Tap it to cancel a hazard creature strike against bear keyed by type. To Shadow Land hold, Dark Domain or Dark Hold. But then Uruk Lieutenant, another one I wanted. So the reason I wanted this is twofold. Oh, what a great video, guys. I'm so glad that, oh, this is, yeah. I hope you all, guys are all having as much fun as I am. Uh, but Uruk Lieutenant. So this is a card right here that I'm building. I had put together an Arda cube. I've, I've talked about it before. It's not really a cube because you don't draft it, but it's basically a big old shared deck that both players play from. And it's it's a nice streamlined play style. It's, it's fun. But one of the, well, three of the cards in there are this one, Uruk Lieutenant. And unfortunately, it is a rare, and not only is it a rare, but it is from the Lidless Eye, and not only is it from the Lidless Eye, but if you can find it anywhere, it'll set you back 20 bucks. And I would rather not like being set back. I would rather prefer to not be set back 20 bucks. And now I have it right here. So why is he worth 20 bucks? Why does everyone want this guy? Well, Orc, one strike, but... If played on a company that has already faced an Orc attack this turn, it receives plus three prowess. And an additional plus three prowess if played on a company that has already faced Uruk Lieutenant this turn. So you stack these guys and your opponent is in for a world of hurt. Oh, that, is, that is great. That is great. Orc Raiders, now we're onto our commons. Blow turn, Drowd, Stenison's Border Watch, Fell Rider, Lost in Borderlands. War Warg, Hidden Ways, Hobgoblins, and Doors of Night. What a way to finish this one. That is that is one of my favorite cards. Okay. That's it, guys. That is it for this set of packs. I think I'm halfway through the booster box. Let's just do a quick check here. Boom, what do we got? We've got... Oh, these, these go deeper than I thought. Four, so likely 12 left. Four plus three... Plus five. Yep. Twelve packs up. So we got two more openings. Uh, two more videos to look forward to. But this was a great one. At least, what did I say? $32 in rares in just those two cards there. So that's cool. All right. CCG Collector. Thank you all very so much. Thank you all very much. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you next time.